Hey guys, it's Dr. Adam Nelly coming to you this evening. Um, I thought I would talk about an issue that keeps coming up all the time with a number of patients and a number of people that talk to me uh, in, in regards to uh, weight loss and a ketogenic diet. Um, one of the things that I hear incessantly is that calories count, and I hear this from low-carb experts or so-called experts, um, and I hear this from the lay public, and I hear this from other physicians saying, well, you can cut your carbs, but you also have to remember calories count. Um, and what I want to say to that is that uh, those people that say that don't understand that there's more than one law of thermo therm thermodynamics. Um, they always quote that, well, according to the law of thermodynamics, um, you, energy cannot be created or destroyed. And so that you, you, if you convert one form of energy to another form of energy, it, you have to be able to account for that energy. Well, that's true, but there are actually four laws of thermodynamics, not just one. The first law says that you cannot create or destroy energy, and that's actually true. But the second law of thermodynamics says that entropy will actually increase in a closed system over time. That assumes that that system is open and functions and flows. Uh, what it doesn't t take into account is the 38 different hormones, um, including ketones, which as a fuel that acts like a 39th hormone, that actually she changes the system to prevent entropy from happening. Now, ent entropy basically means that let's say you have hot water in one box and cold water in another box and there's a tube between the two over time entropy means that there's going to be this this random disorder that will move through that will actually equilibrate um, the uh, the randomness in those areas to become equal over time well a hormone is like a little valve that stops that from happening and we have 38 different hormones that function throughout the body continuously the challenge is that if if I produce more insulin in response to a piece of bread than you do then my response to that bread will have a different caloric effect um, than yours will. So saying calories count um, and make and that a calorie is a calorie is absolutely the, the biggest uh, fallacy uh, and the most the biggest disservice I think to a number of my patients who really struggle with weight. And so uh, you cannot uh, say that term, you cannot use that term um, and, and use it just openly when you say, well, yeah, you cut your carbs, but you got to cut the calories too. Biggest crack of crop, crack, crack, crack of biggest crock of crap I've ever heard in my life. Um, and that's the big challenge that arises when, when you start purporting this dogma that calories count. Because those people that, that say that um, don't understand the second law of thermodynamics and how the, that works with the body and how hormones play a role, including ketones being a fuel acting as a hormone on the body and changing the way the body uses its fuel. Um, it's important for you to understand that it's important to be clear. Uh, a number of people, including myself, when we first started this process, ate 5,000 calories or even 5,500 calories a day and lost weight. I lost 65 pounds in the first six months, eating anywhere between 4,500 and 5,500 calories a day. Um, I ate literally a pound of sausage, three eggs cooked in bacon, two double burgers wrapped in lettuce at lunch, um, and a piece of meat with a salad in the evening adding up to roughly 4,500 to 5,500 calories a day and lost weight. Um, so when people say to me, you have to cut the calories to lose weight, that's not true. Now, as you fat adapt and as you become more efficient in using fat, um, then you, you need to change, th then those hormones and the way the hormones work flux and you may not need as much fuel as you needed before to function um, and you may see a change in the way the body partitions that fuel over time. Uh, it's not a calorie issue, it's a hormone issue and it relates to the second law of thermodynamics and if you've not read the second law of thermodynamics, then go look it up and, and, and ponder that and think about it and then we'll come back and have a conversation. So calories don't count. Um, keep the carbs low, moderate the protein, and let the fat be as high as you need to, to have the energy and the fuel and the, um, the, uh, the, the function that you need. Uh, this is Dr. Adam Nally coming to you live. Uh, uh, well, it's not live now because you're watching it on replay. Um, coming to you from Waddell, Arizona. Uh, you guys have a great evening. Take good care. And uh, check out uh, uh, my website, docmuscles.com. Uh, and if you like the information you're seeing, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Uh, have a great evening. Take care, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.